our phrases to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Kwakudash. Today we're going to go over Acts chapter 11. Chapter 11. And uh, we're just going to speak about the Apostle Peter. Uh, and, and, you know, the, 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 uh, the word that he was given to go preach to the Gentiles. Okay. It says, And the Apostle and brethren that were in Judea heard the heard that the gentiles had also received the word of god okay so the gentiles are the uh the the the, the israelites that's following after other customs and, and the gods okay uh and you have another set of gentiles which are the non-israelites and when peter was come up to jerusalem they that were of the circumcision contended with him saying thou wentest into men uncircumcised and did eat with them but peter rehearsed the matter from the beginning and expounded it by order unto them saying i was in the city of Joppa, praying and in a trance i saw a vision a certain vessel descend as it had been a great sheep so that vessel he's talking about the uh, He's talking about the the, the, the fathership, right? Or the UFOs. Okay. And he says, As it had been a great sheet let down from heaven by four corners, and it came even to me, upon the which when I had fastened my eyes, I considered and saw four footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Arise, Peter, slay and eat. But I said, No, not so. But I said, Not so, Lord, for nothing common or unclean had any time entered into my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven, What God hath cleansed? that called not thou common and this was done three times and all were drawn up again into heaven and behold immediately there were three men already come unto the house where I was sent from Caesarea unto me and the spirit bade me go with them nothing doubting Moreover, these six brethren accompanied me, accompanied me, and we entered into the man's house. And he showed us how he had seen an angel in his house, which stood and said unto him, Send men to Joppa and call for Simon, whose sure name is Peter. Who shall tell thee words whereby thou and all thy house shall be saved. You see that? So uh, Peter went preached the word, okay, to the Gentiles, okay, the Israelites that was falling after these other customs and, and other nations, right? Okay, and he went preached the word so that they would be saved. Okay, and just like in the last days, you know, we preaching the word so you will be saved uh, in the, by the name of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, and not the other false god who the world is called on. It says, Then remember I, the word of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh how that he said, John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Okay, so it says ghost, but you know, uh, maybe it's the Spirit. Um, so, uh, you know, the word is what baptizes you now. Now, the, uh, the, the word takes the place of the water. Okay, and, 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 and as I said in, uh, before, it's, it's the washing. The word does the washing, you know. It says, for as much then as God, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, I gave them the light gift 
as he did unto us who believed on the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. What was I that I could withstand God power? Yahweh. When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified God Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, saying, Then had God Yahweh also to the Gentiles granted repentance into life. See that? So, uh, Yahweh, uh, 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 he granted that, that repentance to, to the Gentiles, right? So he gave us a chance to get ourselves uh, correct and stop falling after these, these other gods and turn back to him. And it's truth. See that? So, um, it says, Now, they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution that arose about Stephen travailed as far as Phoenice and Cyprus and Antioch, preaching the word to none but unto the Jews only. See that? So this word, you know, was being preached to the to the uh, Jews, you know, just the southern tribe, you know, Benjamin, Levi, and Judah. Judah, Benjamin, Levi. Okay. So called blacks, uh, Haitians, and and and, and, and you know, uh, Jamaicans and those in the Caribbean. You know, we're the real Jews of the Bible. Okay, so this word was was it being preached to nobody but us? It said, and some of them were men of Cyprus and Cy and Cyrene, which, when they were come to Antioch, spake unto the the Grecians, preaching the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh and the hand of the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh was with them, and a great number believed. And turned into the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. See, so those who believe, they're gonna return and repent to the name Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. You see, you say then tidings of these things came unto the ears of the church, which was in Jerusalem, and they sent forth Barnabas that he should go as far as Antioch, who, when he came and had seen the grace of God Yahweh was glad and exhorted them all that with pure, with selected, with purpose of heart they would cleave unto the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, and this is what we're telling y'all now, you know, to, to cleave unto the Lord in these last days. Repent, turn back to the name. You know. You know, have faith in the in the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, because he he the one that's gonna save us in these last days. No other God coming to save us. It say, for he was a good man and full of the Holy Spirit and of faith. And much people was added unto the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. See that? So, uh, you know, uh, you know, just only a small remnant is going to return, you know, and, and to the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Because a lot of us still uh, stuck on you know the, the, the false gods, and, and and you know we we don't have faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. See that? So uh, I wanted to share that with you guys today. Let's see if we can go to the next one, to another. One. You know, so the Most High, He. Is the one who's coming to deliver the so-called uh, blacks, Native Americans, and Latinos. You know, no other God. Uh, let's go to Matthew 24 right quick. Matthew chapter 20. Because, you know, the times we're living in, man, you know, it's a lot of, uh, you know, rumors of wars are going on. You know, and, and we gotta 
be in this truth. It says, uh, this is Matthew chapter 20. Let me see. Let's go to 24. 24 and 4. Twenty four and four. And when Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am the Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse place, places. And all these are the beginnings of sorrow. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. See that? And this is why so many people coming up against the brothers who are coming in the name of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, you know, for his truth. You know, because our people, man, this, this world is wicked. You know, the people of the world is wicked. And, and, and you know, they rather believe in the, the truth, a lie than the truth. It says, and many false, uh, I'm sorry, it's like it. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. So, man, these are the times we in right now, you know. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then the end come. See that? So this gospel is being preached. You know, uh, you know, we're seeing the rumors of the wars. You know, we see uh, the crime is just way up. You know, there ain't no love in the for one another. You know, man, and this this Bible is real. You know, these the times that we're living in. Okay, let's go to Revelation right quick. I hope I still have some time. Let's go right here to Revelations. Chapter 13. Yeah, man. So, you know, you know, this is Revelation 13, and um, you know, man, they talking about brain, uh, you know, brain chips, microchips, and all this stuff, man. And, and if you don't know what time we living in, man, you you in total darkness right now. You know, you don't have no light in you, man. And this, this the time you ought to be. Trying to seek the Most High Yahweh by Shem and Yahweh shine this truth, so you'll be saved. You know, it's Revelation chapter uh, thirteen and fourteen. It says, uh, "And deceive them that dwell on the earth." Okay, now this is talking about you know uh, them devils, you know. They say by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. Okay, and we know these people live by the sword, right? The people that's in power. You know, uh, you know, we know Esau lived live by his, by his sword. You know, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. See that? So, man, this is the time we live in, man. You, you know, you're not going to take place in society uh, if you don't uh, 
worship this image, you know, and help this mark. So, man, you know, we got to be uh, tuned in this truth and, uh, you know, waiting, waiting for your house shot to come back and deliver his people, man, out of this. It says, here is the wisdom. Here is wisdom. Let him have understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number six is the number of a man, so like, and his number is six hundred three scores and six. To that, so I want to share that with you guys today. Uh, our praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Yahweh Kadosh. Double honest, double honest to the elders of Great Millstone who teach uh, brothers. It's true, hundred percent. Peace.